In this video, we will learn to fix WAMP server error vc runtime 140.dll. So let's begin. So to fix the error of vc runtime 140.dll, what you have to do is just go in the description and there will be a link to this page that is dll-files.com and once you click, you will be landed on this page and here the heading says download vc runtime 140.dll. Once you land on this page, just scroll down below. In here we have different files. What we have to do is we have to download 32-bit version as well as 64-bit version of the files. And we have to keep care that both the files have the same version. Here we have the files with the same version. You can see that. And just go, we will just go and download the 32-bit version first. Just go and download the 32-bit version first. And the download will start in few seconds. Just wait for it. And here the download has completed. Now just go and download the 64 bit of the same version. You can see the versions are same. So just go and download the 64 bit. And here also the download will start in few seconds. In meantime, what you have to do is just go to your desktop and we have to first know what kind of system we have. Is it 32 bit or 64 bit? For that, just go to your desktop, go to your this PC, right click it, and here click on properties. And here again the system type you can see that what kind of system we have. So we have 64 bit operating system. In your case you might have a 32 bit or 64 bit don't worry we will solve the problem for 32 bit as well as 64 bit in this video. So once you have downloaded both just go to your download folder. And here we have this one is a 32 bit version this one is a 64 bit version. So just go and extract both of the files. extract the second 64 bit file once you have extracted both the files we would solve the system for 32 bit first for 32 bit system what you have to do is just go into your 32 bit folder and here we have a dll file just go and right click it and copy it and go to your this pc open a new window and here go to local disk c go to windows once you are in windows folder just scroll down below and search for system 32 and here we have system 32 folder just go and open that and paste the 32 bit dll file here click continue go back so we have solved the problem for 32 bit operating systems now we would solve the problem for 64 bit operating system for 64 bit operating system what you have to do is first go into the 64 bit folder copy the 64 bit dll file and go to your windows folder and here uh, you have to search for system 32 folder here we have system 32 folder go into it and paste the 64 bit dll file here paste it here click continue and now go back and now go into 32 bit dll file folder and now copy the 32 bit dll file and go into your windows folder so here we are in the windows folder just scroll down below and search for the folder of sys wow 64 here we have sys wow 64 just go and open that and just go and paste the 32 bit dll file here click continue and now we are done for 64 bit operating system as well if you have still have any confusion or error just comment down below I would paste all the description where to copy where to paste in the description below this video. So if you have still have any confusion or error just comment down below. I will try to answer that. But before you go please subscribe, like and share. Thank you.